This is a Puerto Rican, but this is also a Puerto Rican. Puerto Ricans are a highly mixed population with various ancestral sources. But what is their actual genetic profile, and how does it fit into the concept of race in general and into the American racial category of black? There are numerous scientific studies done on the Puerto Rican genome, and we will break down the complex process of centuries-long genetic formation of the Puerto Rican people for you in a simple way. The island of Puerto Rico was at first called Borican by its original inhabitants. The first known people to settle the Caribbean, including Puerto Rico, was a culture known as Ortuiroid. These people originated on the coasts of South America, particularly the coasts of Venezuela and Trinidad and Tobago. They then would populate the Caribbean through migration through the Antilles around 2000 BC, which is more than 4,000 years ago. About 1,500 years later, another group of native Amerindians coming from the Orinoco River in Venezuela migrated to Puerto Rico and displaced the previous pre-ceramic or toyroid people. These people were known to belong to the Saladoid culture. Saladoid people replaced the previous pre-ceramic or toyroid people and belonged to the Arawak group of native Amerindians. Sometime between the 7th and 11th centuries, Taino people emerge. They are also an Arawak-speaking group and began to dominate the island of Puerto Rico around 1000 AD. Taino society was matrilineal, and descent was passed through the women, and women occupied all roles within the society, even including the cacique title, which is Taino for chief or king. According to Spanish documentation, when they arrived on the island in 1493, there were around 30 to 60,000 Tainos on the island who were already facing decline from a newer Amerindian group going up from the Antilles known as the Caribs. The Spanish implemented the system of encomiendo, where native Tainos were to be distributed amongst the Spaniards to be used as labor. While Taino men would face extinction through war, diseases, and even high occurrences of self-deletion, Taino women were seen as commodities amongst the Spanish colonizers, and as a result, lots of mixing occurred, mostly involuntarily. This is an important event, as even today some studies estimate that up to 61% of modern Puerto Ricans trace their maternal roots to these Tainos, and this is after the infusion of African genetics into the island, so the founder Puerto Rican population may have been close to 90% Taino on their maternal side. Ironically, this means that according to Taino customs, more than half of modern Puerto Ricans would still be considered as Taino. Meanwhile, the paternal ancestry of the time, completely dominated by newcomers from Spain, was mainly that of Canarian Spaniards. This is an important distinction to make because Canarians themselves are not average Spaniards. Canarians come from the Canary Islands, which are located in Africa, just off the coast of Morocco, rather than in Europe. Prior to Spanish colonization, the native people of the islands were Guanches, who are, by all accounts, an Amazigh group extremely similar to people you would know as Berbers. Average Canarians today derive roughly 20 to 25 percent of their ancestry from these North African native Guanches and thus have elevated levels of North African ancestry compared to other Spaniards. Please note that Guanches, like many other Berber groups, were roughly half Bronze Age North African and early European farmer admixture. Thus, this is why they likely would have looked like this and not like sub-Saharan Africans. In this fascinating instance, it turns out that Puerto Rico was colonized by people who themselves were a product of an earlier colonization of another island group thousands of miles away. In 1513, due to the decline of the Taino population and necessity for labor, Spain began importing African slaves into the island. However, the number of people brought to Puerto Rico paled in comparison to other Caribbean islands initially. Closer to the 18th century, however, the efforts to import African slaves increased by a significant margin due to the labor requirements of sugar plantations on the island. This especially is evident in the eastern parts of Puerto Rico, which received a larger flow of Africans than the rest of the island. And even today, Puerto Ricans from the northeastern province of Loiza have the highest total African genetic ancestry on the island, estimated at 48%. During these times, the core of Puerto Rican DNA has formed, but there were still some minor additional additions to the country's genetic profile. 
1815, by the Royal Decree of Graces, Spain incentivized non-Spanish Europeans such as Corsicans, Irish, and Germans to settle Puerto Rico, offering land in exchange for loyalty. This further diversified the European genetic contribution to the island. The U.S. territorial period, which began a few decades later in 1898, also brought some limited migration to the island from the mainland USA, introducing even more diversity to the island, although both of these events are much more minor compared to the earlier pre-19th century events. All of this brings us to the modern day, where the Puerto Rican genome is highly mixed, and the average figures go something like this. European, Middle Eastern, and North African genetic contribution is estimated to be anywhere between 60 and 75% on average. This would place Puerto Ricans higher than Dominicans in terms of West Eurasian genetic ancestry, but lower than Cubans. This ancestry is primarily paternal, as the majority of initial European settlers were males. Sub-Saharan African genetic input is estimated to be between 12 and 21 percent. This genetic component is highly diverse but mostly West African. It is linked to the Caribbean slave trade and is present both paternally and maternally throughout the island. As mentioned earlier, this component is more prevalent in the eastern parts of the country, where it almost reaches 50 percent in the province of Loiza. Native Taino genetic input into the modern Puerto Rican ancestry is particularly interesting. While in totality it is somewhat low, only being between 13 and 18 percent of the entire Puerto Rican genome, it is still the highest percentage of native ancestry in the entire Caribbean. What is also astonishing is that many studies find that close to 60 percent of modern Puerto Ricans carry Taino maternal lineages. To help you get an idea, the maternal lineage, also known as mtDNA, is the lineage that is inherited by the children from their mother. It never changes, so while Taino ancestry overall is low in Puerto Ricans, the majority of Puerto Ricans descend from a proverbial Taino grandmother, who was the first woman in their lineage. This high of a percentage likely indicates that the initial European colonizers of the island mixed almost exclusively with only Taino women, and some likely had children from multiple Taino women. So after knowing the genetic portrait of Puerto Ricans, what race would they be? Genetically, Puerto Ricans would be a mixed population with a European genetic foundation, but significant non-European admixture. This makes them very similar to Brazilian Pardos genetically, as Pardos are also mostly European, but with significant Amerindian and African admixture. Since race is a very loose concept that changes over time, Puerto Ricans do not really fit into any of the current categories neatly. There is currently a large debate going on in the mainland USA that argues if Puerto Ricans should be classified as black or not, with most of the arguments stemming from the discussion of Puerto Rican contribution to the creation of hip-hop and an evaluation of if Puerto Rican rappers and celebrities can use a certain offensive word that is tied to the African-American identity and history. By outdated, unscientific, and racially motivated concepts such as the one-drop rule, all Puerto Ricans would be classified as black, as unlike Cubans, Puerto Ricans are extremely evenly mixed, and it's next to impossible to find a 100% European Puerto Rican or a 100% African Puerto Rican. While we discuss the results of average Puerto Ricans above, there are indeed Puerto Ricans with a larger African contribution than average. Puerto Ricans from Loiza, who average 48% of Sub-Saharan African ancestry, typically have this component as their largest ancestral component, while a Puerto Rican from San Juan may not share that. Obviously, the world does not operate like this in 2025, and uh, often a, a racial classification of an individual comes down to two factors. The first factor is that the individual himself considers himself to be a part of a certain group, and if the members of said group agree with the individual's classification. Considering the Puerto Rican genetic profile, it is possible for two siblings from the same parents to inherit two different phenotypes that may be viewed as different races by other people. So whether or not Puerto Ricans can be classified as black would depend on if the person himself identifies as black, and if the said person's resulting phenotype would be that which would cause the rest of the black community to accept the said individual as black. This is why Puerto Ricans like Jennifer Lopez or Fat Joe may get different reactions than Puerto